Hello there. How's it going? I am Christian Crow, and this is my book. And the Mountains Echoes by Kalita Saint, published date 2013, Penguin Books. This book is about a family, a youngest son, Piri, and living in Kabul, Afghanistan. And he's a very rich family that he's staying with. Not his immediate family, but his extended family. And the book talks about him and his family and living and stuff. And the book ends with his father dying, and it's really sad. My first question is that, is the question of what values does this book reinforce? This book reinforces values of family, loyalty, respect, stuff like that. The quote I have here to represent that is, to represent loyalty and stuff, where it is when they first meet the family, the extended family. This is a Perry's family, the boy we follow. He comes from a very full farm, farmer family, and he goes to live with his very wealthy relatives. The first question is, first, the first quote is, Ya Perry, where is your respect? We are guests in their house. It seems like a really weird quote, but I don't know. It really, the extended family is very, like, nice. He's very good to them, and Perry at first really doesn't like understand that or go along with that. So that quote really symbolizes that at first there's kind of like a power struggle, moving from the original family to their family. So it's kind of like everything's loose. You need to like show that you have authoritative stance. You know, as the youngest child in a big family. So, him trying to be disrespectful, kind of, and tries to show that he's cooler and more older in a way. This book goes into ideas of family above all, when there's conflict. That has to keep the family together, do the best for the family. It goes into loyalty, not leaving your family. At one point, there's family friends, and the family friends are going to go. The friends of Perry are going to go out and party and do bad things. What would inflict with family time, family doing something, going out to a neighboring city, he decides to stick with his family and the friends end up getting hurt because of this, because they go off and do a stupid thing, which is very weird, because realistically, it doesn't make much sense. It's just like a propaganda-ish thing to say, hey, if you go out and do bad things, you will get hurt, you will die. My second question has to do with, has to do with what, is the economic status of the author. Plato Sani was born in Kabul, Afghanistan. His family was very rich. His father was a diplomat. When he was like 11 or very young, he moved to London with his family. And when they finally returned to their family, like their extended family, they built in family, it was just beginning of the Russian occupation of Afghanistan. So he saw a lot of heartbreak and turmoil, and he had ended up having to flee, flee the country and move to America. Now, seeing the heartbreak and turmoil and despair of that time in between him coming back from London and emigrating from Afghanistan has some roots in this story. And it kind of, when you end up moving to America, you end up having to stay with other people. And so the idea of giving, of leaving your family and living with another is parallel to the story. You can see Kulisaini as a young Barry in this book. So he was wealthy, but not all 
ways fortunate to have lots of friends and possibly family in Afghanistan die. He did go through heartbreak seeing his family house destroyed and all his friends die. And that's not fortunate. So in the story about the so in the story about a young farmer going to live with a new family, leaving all that he loves is the same. It's very hard, I couldn't find a quote for this. It's because I don't know, they ran parallel. I don't know, there talks about a lot of love in this also between these two people, Aman and Julian. And it's very similar to what I know about him and his wife. In this book, they're kind of from the same tribe, tribal to kind of like ethnic connection. Same with his and his wife. And they met outside of the context, like in reality, they both were Afghans living in America, and this, they were something else living in Kabul, which sounds like a direct correlation to him and his wife. So there's maybe a little inspiration there. It doesn't necessarily, the question is about social class, but also at the same time, social class can do with experience. Social class only has to play the story when it comes to being from a poor family, living with a very rich family, having the benefits that you didn't have before. Okay, this is Christian Crow with Goli Tamsamis and the Mountain Echo turning this off. Goodbye.